Hey guys, how are you doing? It's uh, Gavin here from Starfresh Personal Training. Sorry about that, uh, that light back there. It's a bit, a bit of a glare in it. Can't actually do much about that right now. Anyway, today's video is about um, comparisons of different foods, okay? And what you may think is healthy isn't healthy, all right? Or, okay, uh, isn't as good for you as you think it is because of the packaging. So, I'm gonna show you these two things, all right? One is these uh, sandwich thins. 99, 99 calories a slice. I'll have a read of it because it's back to front there. Um, soft, tasty sources of fiber, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. Um, and a four star healthy rating, okay? Then I'm going to go over to Vogels, alright? So Vogels is just, um, uh, I guess, a, a whole grain type bread, okay? Now there's nothing on there to suggest it's healthy, okay? Soy and linseed, maybe you, you think, oh, yes, it's healthy, right? I'm going to compare the both of them to you and you can make your own you can decide what you think is the best and I'm going to give you my opinion, right? So we look at the backs of these, I've written them down just so I, I can read them. And on the, okay, so sat, these, uh, these sandwich tins, okay, 99 calories per one serve. So it's basically a really sort of thin level bread cut in half, sandwich tins, um, and it's good to go, 99 calories, okay? So you think, oh yeah, it's low in calories, good for me. It says high in fiber, right? So, with regards to protein, there's only, um, both four grams of protein in there, um, one gram of fat, and there's actually 17 grams of carbs in there, okay? And 2.3 grams of fiber. So, yes, okay, you know, you'd think on the face of that, it's not too bad, all right? Then you've got the, the Vogels, okay? No health markers on it whatsoever, um, just, um, you know, just a, just a plain bread, you think. But, so a serving size of Vogels is two slices, okay? So I'm gonna give you the, the two slice version and the, if you had one slice, one serve comparatively to the sandwich thin. So you've got 213 calories, okay, in the two slices of Vogels. 9.4 grams of protein, which is pretty good. Um, fat, 5.7, but the fat that comes from this is, is um, a lot better than the fat that comes from this, the other one. Um, this is one more from soy and linseed, and is, if you read the back, it says in there, this is, the sandwich thins are more vegetable oil based than canola oil. Then you've got carbs 26.7. So for two sizes of these, it's only a little bit more carbs compared to one of them, right? And you've got fiber of 5.1, so there's a bit of fiber. So if you break it, obviously that's a double serving, or one serving is two slices. You cut that down, so you've got 107 calories compared to 99, similar. Uh, protein, 4.5, more protein. The other one is four. Fat, 2.5, a little bit more fat, but it's gonna be the better fat for you, all right? Uh, uh, more sort of um, omega-3 type fat. Then you've got carbs, 13 grams of carbs, four grams of carbs less than the sandwich thins, and fiber is more fiber 2.5 compared to 2.3, right? So, what I'm trying to point out to you guys, all right, is that just because something says it's healthy compared to something else doesn't mean that is the case. You're gonna get a better quality food from the Vogels by having one slice than you would from the sandwich thins, which is covered in 99% calories blah 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 good source of fiber it isn't really good source of fiber really two and a half grams and that isn't that great um, whereas you know if you were you'd have a better solid meal with one of these and done two slices because all the things are better you feel fuller for longer you're less likely to um, less likely to sort of crash anything else so in regards to comparing two foods okay you'll be re just read the back of them um, and just because something you know jumps out of you as a four star health rating doesn't actually mean it's any better than the other stuff. So you might be thinking you're making a really good choice and saving a bunch of calories doing this, when actually, in fact, you're better off just doing the normal bread. There's no markers on there to say it's a four-star health rating. There's no markers on there to say 99 calories a serve. Um, do you know what I mean? It's, it's all marketing to help to make you guys buy the product, okay? And what you guys are gonna do is come away from that and actually read the back, read what's on the back. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, read some of the stuff on the back. I don't even know what half this stuff means to be honest with you, so I'm just gonna read it anyway. The things that jump out of me, canola oil, it's not very good, wheat, gluten, dextrose, sugar, um, salt, emulsifiers, more sugar, um, soy flour, gluten, all that bunch of stuff. And I'm gonna read the back of this one, and it says on there, water, wheat flour, so obviously wheat, soybeans, linseeds, mixed grains, um, I may contain eggs. So, you know, just read the back, that one sounds better anyway, doesn't it? So, that's my take from it. What's good or bad? I don't know, what do you think? But what I'm saying is, is just read the back, make sure you, um, you know, you, you, you read what you're eating as opposed to just going by what it says in the packet. 
comparatively they're very very similar um, and you could go for the Vogels as, as opposed to the tip top. Um, real short video, just wanted to demonstrate how you can compare foods and one isn't always as it seems. Um, like I said, uh, hit me up guys if you have any questions, I'd uh, love to hear your thoughts. Um, start fresh, if you don't make a change today, how will tomorrow be any different? Cheers.